I'm Beverly Welch here at the Arbor Gate in Tomball, Texas. And I am joined by my good friend, Angela Chandler. Hi, Bev. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Great. We are here to do a little follow-up for you on the Changshu Kumquat that we tr are training as an espalier. And we planted this little guy, I guess, a little over a year about ago. About that. And my goodness, has it grown. It sure has. You know, as soon as they get a, a root system right. established, they just take off. So we, what do we do now? We well, got it in the ground. We started as you suggested. Do you recommend that we wait six, eight months to a year before we really come back and prune on this guy? It really all depends on growth rate. Okay. I have had a chance one time this year to come back and do a little bit of pruning and additional tying on it. Right. But now it's had a really good spurt of growth and it really needs attention now. Okay, so what do we do first? Well, the first thing we need to do is what we need to do on any citrus tree and that's get rid of the suckers. That's the first place we always start. Okay. And if you'll see, there are some suckers growing right. at the base of this tree and we just want to remove those as close to the trunk of the tree as we can and really even that large branch towards you it would qualify. That, that is one, a big one. That one might have needed a pair of loppers but go. she got it. Okay so we do want to keep and that we clear keep span of trunk. Up? Yeah any, anything that's that really spindly weak growth okay. at the bottom and now we're okay. All right. I like to keep about 12 to 18 inches of clear span so that we have a chance to mulch and watch out for suckers and just keep that be that base clean. The next thing we need to do is before we add any new ties, uh -huh. we need to check our old ties and make sure that none of them are girdling any of our branches. Girdling a branch can cause damage, even death to that branch. So we want to check it while we know where those old you ties say are. The word girdling. You yes. Mean that the the tie itself is not into the bark of the tree. Right. It's actually not cutting into it. it. Right. And we want to make sure that we're not doing that. Okay. And the method that we use of tying onto the trellis first before we tie around the branch helps eliminate some of that, but we still need to check all of all our right. old ties. Perfect. So we want to just look. This one appears to be great. I still have plenty of room and space in that. Well, and this one as well, and it's got a quite large branch on it, yeah. so these look really good. Okay, this one's still got some space. So maybe the next pruning uh, in the middle of spring, we might want to change and replace some of those, but for now they look fine. Okay. So then the next thing we want to do is decide, okay, we have some really vigorous growth here where can it be tied back to our trellis? So some of them are sort of tell you what they want to do. This one that's growing up nicely, we have a space here mm -hmm. that needs to be filled. So this one can be easily tied off there. All right. So I'm going to grab this particular tie wrap and the first thing I'm going to do is tie off to the trellis. And then bring our And branch then in. we're going to tie that branch up. So and the, you're tying loosely as well. I'm tying loosely. I want it to be held in place, but I don't want to cause any problems girdling this plant at all. And I want it to have some room here to gain some, some girth. Some caliper. Yeah, some growth. caliper yeah. before going farther. Okay, so we've taken care of that side. Then we're really nice and full on that side, and we have a little hole here. So I'm going to look to see, and doing this regularly allows you to have your, your stems pliable enough to push right. back. And so this one is. So I'm going to push it back even though it's a little got several branches that need to be tied. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now that I can kind of see where it can go, I'm going to use this which is a uh, wire coated tie, really strong. Reusable. But thankfully, yes, yeah. reusable and thankfully we can cut it with the pruners. Mm -hmm. And I want to, again, tie to the trellis. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one twist in the tie. And then I'm gonna come around the tree in kind of a figure eight and twist tie that one off. And I'm gonna push those ends back to the back so that they're not unsightly. And we'll probably go ahead and tie a few more of these smaller branches. Now but, what about this guy here in the front? You know, it's just growing too far to the front for us to salvage anything from it. We filled in some space here and we've really got a lot of progress going this way. So I think we'll just remove, just remove this, this one. one. And again, do you want me to take it all At the way the down to the trunk? Yes, what we call a thinning cut, which is all the way back to where the branch begins rather than a heading cut. Okay. 
So now we've achieved that sort of two-dimensional look we're looking for. We've really filled in some of the spots that we didn't have when we first planted this tree. Mm -hmm. So now our only thing to do is see where we might want to do a little bit of tip pruning to continue stimulating growth. Okay. And we can go ahead and do that by, ju by just tipping back about the, the four to six right branches there. And we're just That's gonna perfect. fill it out. It's just gonna be just, almost like a gorgeous vine. It does, and this really, the tipping really encourages it to fill out. And then the final thing we need to do is we do always need to pay attention to the back of any espalier that okay. we do so that it stays within bounds. We're not really looking to tie any of those branches. Right. We just want to tip them back with what we call heading cuts or tipping cuts just to keep it within its range. Other than that, that is all it takes this to grow an espalier. So They're wonderful. Can't wait till it blooms. It's going to be so fragrant back here. It's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. You bet.